What is up, my Berserkers? It's your boy, Egg on the Berserker here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be giving my review of House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 1, and Berserkers. We are so back. <laughs> and I am so excited because this episode is a masterpiece from start to finish and it was just that awesome and I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I just I just love it. It's absolutely amazing quality television. I just I just love it. <laughs> All right, enough of me fanboying and let's get started on the review. All right, so I love the detail of how the North picks the men to go to the, go to the wall. And I love how it's by drawing stones. And if a man picks or draws a white stone, you don't go to the wall. But if a man draws the black stone, and that's a subtle reference to them taking the black. And if they draw a black stone, they go to the wall and take the black. And once again, I love that little that little reference of those men taking the black and going to the wall and serving his brothers. <laughs> and I love the interaction between Cregan Stark and Jaceris Valarian. It was it was awesome. It was pretty awesome and Tom Taylor as Cregan Stark. He was awesome. He was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. And hopefully we get to see more of Cregan in season three. Because I think on a Twitter post it says that Cregan won't appear for the rest of season two. But hopefully he'll appear more in season three. And yeah. And I also love the, the acting in this episode like the acting in this episode was truly awesome especially especially Emma Darcy especially Emma, Emma Darcy because I love how I love how they convey that emotion you know of the loss of Lucerus and I think Emma Darcy gave an incredible performance an incredible performance in this episode and like you can you can feel you can feel that emotion you can feel that emotion of a mother's grief and i feel like emma did a fantastic job a fantastic job with that and it was just that freaking awesome and i also love the luceris funeral scene and i like how that transitions to like allison allison hightower lighting the candles i i think that was a fun that was a fun little thing to do and once again i just i just love it i loved it and i also really like Aegon in this episode because Aegon was was a good dad to jaharis and I also love the funny moment of like Jaharis getting Tylen Lannister's little ball. And Tylen like, no, no, no. That, that was so funny. That was just that was just so funny. And crap, I forgot the actor that played Aegon's name, but he was absolutely incredible and it showed us a new side to Aegon the Second and that he could be a really good dad and also a really good king if he didn't have such a crappy council. <laughs> oh heck yeah. I just I just loved it. And I also love the blood and cheese scenario. I just <laughs> I also love how well acted. That is, and the actress that plays Helena in that episode. I think she gave an incredible performance. And also, the two actors that played Blood and Cheese also gave an incredible performance. And 
yeah, this episode was amazing. Amazing all around. <laughs> and I think in the books it was way more dramatic than it seemed because I think it was like with a bunch of different narrators, but I love how it's like dramatic, but not um, dramatizing it. And just, it was just that, it was just that awesome. And also I don't like blood and cheese because I think that's the whole point to blood and cheese was because they pretty much put Helena in a difficult position to choose which of her kids got killed and Jaharis ended up ended up getting killed and like at the end of the episode the greens would would want revenge against blood and cheese and hopefully and hopefully for the next episode Aegon will get his revenge and torture blood all right guys so thank you all so much for watching subscribe if you're either new here or if you're more curious about the channel or if you want more house of the dragon content i'm currently trying to make it to 300 subscribers and once we make it to 300 i'm going to do a celebration stream and it will be awesome so yeah once again guys thank you all so much for watching if you want more House of the Dragon content, be sure to subscribe to the, ch to the channel, like the video, comment your, comment your thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.